Who do you believe is mostly responsible for your eviction? Is there anything you could have done to save yourself with that person? Um, I believe that Jag is mostly responsible for my eviction. Uh, and I would have had to beat Felicia to the punch in telling Jag that Matt was targeting him. And that's not something that I really wanted to do because I did want Matt to target him. <laughs> so I would have been shooting myself in the foot by alerting him to the fact that Matt was going to come after him. You spoke about the pressure of playing Big Brother as a master of social strategy. Did any part of playing Big Brother throw you off your usual tactic you use in the past competitions? Um, I think the sharing of information and uh, people not being able to keep secrets. Like I'm used to alliances keeping the information within the alliance unless you know, there's infighting and, and big brother, then there's no need for, there doesn't have to be infighting and people will still tell everything. Like even your Alliance members, which is crazy to me. I'm from the old school where loose lips sink ships. Um, so for them to talk as much as they did, that kind of threw me off. Knowing that you are coming in as a former reality TV competitor, as well as having your son in the game, what was your original strategy coming in and how did it evolve? Um, I wanted to play closely with Jared. I wanted Jared to form his own alliances. I formed my own alliances and we meet somewhere in the middle. Once Jared's alliance imploded and Jared was evicted, then I had to kind of go under the radar and recoup and realign myself. Can you give an example of how your other reality TV experience prepared you for the game of Big Brother? Who there is no preparation, honey, for the game of Big Brother. However, um, I think just knowing that you can't really trust people in games like this. Um, I was able to keep certain information to myself, whereas other people just blabbed everything, like everything. Certain information, if you don't have any business of your own and all your business is in the street, then you're setting yourself up for failure. So in, in these type of games, information is currency. Um, and I know that. What was that your biggest, what was your biggest regret in the game? Oh, not trying harder to, my biggest regret in the game was not trying harder to have Matt not save Jag with a, his a superpower. Now that you played both Big Brother and Survivor, what what Big Brother player do you want to see play Survivor? And what Survivor player do you want to see play, play Big Brother? Ooh. So I think Red would be excellent at Survivor. Um, and let's see, what Survivor player should play Big Brother? Um, oh, that's a hard one. Maybe... Maybe Marianne. <laughs> Maybe Marianne should give a crack at Big Brother. How do you predict your Big Brother experience will affect your social strategy in the future? Oh, um, I think I have learned even more so not to trust anyone in these games. In a game that you have to trust someone, even within your own alliances, you have to limit information that's shared way more than I did. I'm used to being able to share information within my alliances and then not go anywhere, not in a game of Big Brother. 
Did the game get easier or more difficult for you once Jared was evicted? Both. So the game got easier and more difficult once Jared was evicted. And it got more difficult because I had become comfortable and accustomed to having Jared there. Whereas in other games, I start off alone and I'm not expecting to have any level of comfort having someone from home there with me. You don't miss what you don't have, right? So once Jared left, I felt lonelier than I have ever felt in a game before. And it's only because I, I started off with that comfort from home. It got easier because I only had to worry about me. Jared's position, his alliances, um, or him being targeted could no longer affect me. And last question, will Izzy Fields be invited to Thanksgiving dinner this year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Izzy is a field for life. I love Izzy. Izzy is so unique, so quirky, so phenomenal. I need Izzy to understand how amazing she really is and how much I really do love her. And that concludes Cerise's pool of questions.